my painkillers knocked me out there, so we are back the next day. Uh, let's take a quick break from Mitsubishi's. Moving on to Dish and his S15 and CBR. <laughs> what? That thing is so nice. So this is Dish's 2002 Nissan 200 SX S15. Um, I'm not really sure how the badging works. Uh, because to me this is a Sylvia S15 and I'm not too sure how all the 200SX, 240SX comes into play. The S15 has like this timeless design to it. Um, even now, in 2021, this thing does not look dated. I love how simple, sleek and aggressive those body lines are. And uh, Dish's example here has just been lowered and had some nice wheels fitted to it. and. Oh man, that is all you need. Look at it. I love the colour too. Um, always a fan of black cars and this thing is no different. Oh, that is so clean. And this is his 2017 Honda CBR 650F. Uh, it's been de-restricted and has an exhaust on it. Um, yeah, you can tell Mans has a preference for his uh, automotive colours. Uh, and I like that choice of this thing looks so stealthy and so aggressive. I have always wanted a bike and there is no doubt that I will be getting one someday. Alright, we're gonna rate Dish based on the S15 and this thing is a 9 out of 10. It is stunning, it is timeless, it's classic, he's done a bit of work to it and he has some uh, decent power goals to it um, which I'm curious to see progress of. But please man, take me for a spin. I've never been in one of these uh, and I'm really curious to see what they feel like and I'm sure this thing is a beast. Uh, so yeah, 9 out of 10, thanks for the submission dish. Okay, speaking of motorcycles, next up we've got Josh's 2015 Yamaha MT-09. Uh, so this has a full titanium Akrapovich exhaust, he's got new grips, bar end mirrors, tail tidy and a few other goodies. Um, I think the colour scheme on this bike is gorgeous. I love the blue accents on the bike. Uh, I think it really adds this pop and a flair to it. Um, and it's very distinctive to that MT range. As is the fluoro yellow, I believe it is, that I've found on, on these bikes. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is a Street Fighter. Uh, and it's quite different to a sport bike, which is what Dishes was. It's got a more upright seating position for comfort, uh, and it's got a lot more low-end torque. Uh, I myself prefer super sports, but that's probably because I've never ridden long enough to appreciate how comfort, uh, how important comfort is on a bike. Let's hear what this sounds like. <laughs> Part of why I love bikes so much uh, is because of the sound. They rev so high compared to cars and they just sound so aggressive. Uh, you know, they can get really high up there in the, the RPM range, so they just sound like they're screaming. Uh, and I'm a huge fan of that. Um, I'm going to give Josh's bike a solid 7.5 out of 10. Awesome work, Josh. Uh, can't wait to see what else you do with it. Um, and hopefully when I get a bike, we can go on a ride sometime. Speaking of Josh's, we've got Josh's Camry. Uh, word on the street is this fella appreciates some quality graphic design. So uh, that's why I've elected to go with this pretty hip uh, slide design here for the Camry. And I, I do believe it actually sums up the personality that you'd often find in a, a Camry. Quite aggressive um, and perhaps even slightly violent. Now, Josh didn't know much about cars. Um, but he still decided to watch my videos uh, and really made an effort to understand what was going on in each of them. Uh, I love this because I wanted Gutter Ash to serve uh, the purpose of making cars as a hobby more accessible. Uh, so big ups to Josh for making the effort to connect with the content um, and wrap his head around everything despite not being a car guy at all. Um, enough about the owner, let's get to the car itself. Uh, Josh has gotten some Vanti Tourers for the car, uh, clearly a very reputable brand uh, that I'm sure focuses on quality and performance. Uh, he's also got the Gutter Ash sticker on the rear windshield um, and for that reason I'm going to have to push this up 
from a 5.5 to a 6. Well done, Josh. Thank you for your submission. All right, we are back to the VR fours, but this one is slightly different from the other VR fours we've had in this video. It's a Legnum, uh, meaning it is the wagon version of the Gallant, essentially. Wagon life is something that I had yearned for since well before I even got my first car. Uh, my first car was actually gonna be a, a wagon. I've just always loved the silhouette of an estate or wagon. Um, I love that kind of sweeping roof uh, and that elongated, elegant looking rear end. And the only reason I didn't get a Legnum was because I found a really good deal on my gallon. Um, but I very much set out on my VR4 journey with a Legnum in mind. Big ups for uh, choosing the wagon life, Matt. Um, so this car apparently has been a three year project so far. Uh, and he said he's changed so many things. Um, so you can imagine the amount of work and time that's gone into this. Um, he's upgraded the Brambos alongside some supporting brake mods. He's got some VC coils and upgraded arms. Um, he's also done the front bumper. As you can see, it's got the fog light covers molded into the actual bumper, which I think looks really neat uh, because most examples of these are just the fog light cover bolted onto the factory bumper. Something I find really fascinating is he has gone and got the TDO3 high flow turbos. Uh, please let me know what you think about those man um, because I know how hard it is to get power out of these cars uh, and that's basically the only way to go unless you're planning on going single turbo. Uh, so tell me what you think about these high flows and whether they're worth upgrading to over stock. Um, yeah, really curious about that, so hit me up. I'm gonna have to give this thing an 8.5 out of 10. It is crisp, it is clean, and uh, from your messages, clearly a lot of work has gone into it. So well done. I'm clumping these two grocery getters together. Uh, we've got Nick's Impreza over here and Adam's Impreza over here. Let's start on Adam's Impreza. So this thing has become the unofficial poster child of Gutterash Automotive. Uh, the video got significantly far more views than any of my others did. Um, and subsequently, this is the video that shows up on the most popular uploads. In the space of a day, did basically every P-plate mod you could think of. Uh, we got some easy front lift installed to it. We plasti did the wheels. We didn't even take the wheels off to do that. Uh, we did yellow fog lights and we did a muffler delete and we did some nightshades on the the uh, rear tail lights as you can see there. But if you guys want to know a bit more about what he's done to it, go watch that video. He did end up getting a proper WRX front lip uh, and some proper 18 inch Avanti rims I believe they are. Um, and the car looks cleaner because of it. Uh, I'm gonna have to give Adam a 7 out of 10 uh, because he actually took some time and effort to try and uh, modify the car according to his taste. Uh, next up we've got Mr. Mong Car Guy who no doubt you guys would have seen on the channel a few times now. I'd like to thank this fella for helping me be proud of Gutterash. Uh, he's a real bro that amped me up and that's what good friends do. So shout out to him. Um, he has damaged his bumper and also experienced numerous flat tires. Uh, yeah, this Impreza, it's trusty, it's reliable, it's a road trip warrior. I'm gonna have to give it a six out of 10. Next up, we've got my two biggest supporters, my mum and my girlfriend. Uh, these two could not care less about cars. In fact, my mum's one of those people who groups cars together based on their color, not the make, the model, the manufacturer or the shape. Um, the important thing is they care about me. Uh, they watch, they like and they share basically all my videos. Uh, they help me film, they'll help me edit. Mum has to deal with me taking over the dining table uh, and the garage um, when I do my mods and maintenance for days on end. Uh, but they sit on the sideline and they support me and they cheer me on um, and I really appreciate the love and the support that I receive from them. Those are the people you need to surround yourself with uh, and I'm very lucky to have these two in my life. So Mum drives a 2013 Volvo XC60 
are designed. This thing is a beast! Um, now, I'm not generally a fan of SUVs, but this thing is a pleasure to drive. It's from memory, got around 220 kilowatts and uh, 440 newton meters of torque from the factory. It, this thing is no slouch, it's definitely one of the faster vehicles I've ever driven. Um, and that says a lot, considering it's what looks like a sedate SUV. Uh, but yeah, it's an absolute machine. I'm going to have to give this thing a 7 out of 10. As much as I love it um, and enjoy driving it, it uh, unfortunately just doesn't have the street cred that you get from some of the other cars in this video. Uh, and Mum, of course, has no plans of actually modifying it. And next up, we've got Sarah's Corolla. It's economical, it's reliable, and it is stock. Uh, it's trusty, it's a Corolla, it's easy to repair if something goes wrong. I'm going to have to give it a 6 out of 10. And that's that. Thanks again to everyone who took the time to uh, make a submission. I appreciate it, uh, and I thoroughly enjoyed making the video. Now we'll move on to announcing the winners. So, in first place, we've got Leander and his Evo. Uh, now, this car definitely had an unfair advantage in the sense that he's let me drive it before, um, but it added towards the rating because I love that thing. Uh, in second place, we've got Dish and his S15. That thing looks immaculate. Uh, one of my favorite looking cars out of all the submissions. It's clean, it's crisp, um, and I hope to see it in person one day. And finally, we've got Matt and his VR4. Uh, really clean, it's a wagon, which I love. I like the amount of work that he's put into it uh, and the fact that he's um, upgraded to the high flow turbos. And special mention to uh, Adam and his Express for giving me the idea for this video. So you four all get a sticker, uh, just shoot me a message through uh, Facebook or Instagram um, and I can mail those out to you. Thanks so much for watching the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm still recovering from my surgery, but uni's out uh, and I did have a little bit of time to actually work on the Gallant, which was great. And uh, we've also got another small surprise waiting for you in terms of content, so definitely stay tuned. Uh, I'll slowly be releasing all of these videos over the next few weeks. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. I will catch you on the next one.